I'm drawing the human form. Never fear the feelings you get <sighs> by capturing its sensual essence. Let that sexuality spill onto the page. Oh my gosh, I think I've done it. Brilliant. We'll probably have to blur this, but brilliant. Batter is always going to be with us, <laughs> like mosquitoes and cockroaches. <laughs> so we're invested. Today, I have the pleasure to interview Mr. Mike Murphy, the organizer of the Boston Museum's Bad Art for Art Week 1998. Let's see if Mike's home. Hello, okay. Mike. Hey, how you doing? Good. How are you? Great. How's the coffee? Oh, coffee's good, and the art is bad. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you guys ready? Come on. Let's, let's go. Look. So why would anyone want to introduce bad art to a wide audience? Well, you know, the easy answer is that it's an awful lot of fun, you know, and art's often criticized for being maybe too serious, too intellectual, too conceptual. This work doesn't really challenge you on that level. The main challenge here is trying to figure out, you know, what the artist was thinking as they put together the pieces here. That piece over there is definitely bad. Oh, the Joan Crawford piece? The Joan Crawford piece. Well, I think with this piece, and I can't speak for the museum's curatorial staff, but that it does kind of capture Joan Crawford, but then just the facial features and everything have just gone to an extreme. You know, Joan's kind of known for her mouth and how it's kind of got an odd grimace, and this just blows it way over the top. The eyes are all askew, the nose is kind of like only half done, the right nostril's a bit missing. I do really like this piece. Like just the excessive attention to detail, the mass slaughter, like it really is mass slaughter. <laughs> and if you look, like, like a gazillion soldiers are here, just ready, waiting in line to be slaughtered. You know, and obviously many are dead. And, you know, I, I guess on a serious level, you could say it kind of depicts you know, what war is really about. It's not all heroic and glamorous, but forget all the serious stuff. It's just overdone. So I really like that piece. Um, <clears throat> I asked for this piece as well to come, the figure with braids, which the moment people think is kind of a Jay Leno lookalike. <laughs> you know? It's just kind of a fun, folk artsy kind of piece, and it's just way over the top. And, you know, you turn to the side, yes, there's a little handbag. Isn't that wonderful? That's beautiful. And there you have it. Bad art. Either you love it or you hate it. This is Lincoln Phillip reporting for from the Boston Museum of Bad Art site during Art Week from Calgary. Hey, thanks for watching NUTV. Click here to watch last week's video and click here to watch another one. I don't even know what it is.